Generally, there are two types of enemies. The first type of enemy is called the hidden enemy, who attacks from the back and it is very difficult to track them. And the second type of enemy is the enemy who attacks from the front, of which the opposition has full knowledge. Any individual will be able to prepare himself much better if he knows his enemy in advance. Thus, Allah stated in many places in the Quran, Indeed, he, Satan, is to you a clear enemy. Quran 2, 168 and 2, 208. Thus, Allah makes us aware of our enemy and he introduces Satan as our open enemy. So we human beings should be aware of him and his aims, objectives and methodologies which he employs to mislead people. Methodology. The following are the different methodologies adopted by Satan. 1. Mislead. The first act which Satan does is he misleads the people from the straight path. The basic thing what Satan would do first is that he will make the people disobedient of Allah. He will deviate them in such a way that they will start doing things which is against his own nature and would associate partners with Allah. Satan would make people forget their responsibility and position. Satan will make people forget that they were given the responsibility of being the vicegerent of Allah. Satan would make the world very beautiful and alluring to man in such a way that he should be engrossed in gaining the worldly pleasures and satisfaction and ultimately forget Allah and that he will have to render his account on the day of judgment. When this state is achieved, then deviating man to do other things would become much easier. 2. Sinful Desires Man is a bundle of desires and along with the desires Satan instigates certain sinful desires among people which they strive and struggle to achieve. Some of the sinful desires which are instigated in man is the desire to gain sexual pleasure, the desire to have more sons so that he can be proud of, the desire to earn quick money through gambling, the desire to earn more and more money so that he can buy jewelry, cars and a house so he can show off the desire to have all forms of luxuries of the world, the desire to become popular so that people would praise him and appreciate him. Thus, man should be very much careful and aware of the sinful desires which Satan would instill in him. 3. Slit the ears of cattle. Superstition. Slit the ears of cattle refers to a superstition. The reference here is to superstitious Arabic customs where it was customary among the Arabs that after a camel had given birth to five or ten young to slit her ears and let her go in the name of the deity that they considered it forbidden to put her to any work. Likewise, the male camel that caused the birth of ten camels was consecrated to some deity. The slitting of ears symbolized this consecration. Today, people have developed a lot of superstitious beliefs in every aspect of their lives. Some of the most popular superstitious beliefs are widows were considered unlucky, so they were burnt alive along with their husband. Treating a particular time of the day as inauspicious, considering the seeing of a peacock before the journey auspicious, a black cat crossing one's way was considered as a sign of bad luck, having the window of the kitchen facing the east, having the entrance of the house in a particular direction, adding one rupee to a gift sum is auspicious and much more. Thus, Satan has instigated people to adopt various methods to mislead them. 4. Change the creation of Allah to alter Allah's creation in some respect does not mean changing its original form. If that was true, human civilization would have to be considered satanic in its entirety. For civilization consists essentially of man's putting use to the resources endowed by Allah. Thus, the alteration of Allah's creation, which is characterized as satanic, consists in using a thing not for the purpose for which it was created by Allah. In other words, all acts performed in violation either of one's true nature or of the intrinsic nature of other things are the result of the misleading promptings of Satan. These include, for instance, wearing a wig, sodomy, birth control, monasticism, celibacy, sterilization of either men or women, turning male into eunuchs, diverting females from the functions entrusted to them by nature and driving them to perform the functions for which men were created. These and numerous similar measures were enacted by Satan's disciples in this world which amounts on their part to saying that the laws of the Creator were faulty and that they would like to reform them. Allah says in the Quran, Then I will come to them from before them and from behind them and on their right and on their left and you will not find most of them grateful to you. Quran 7.17 Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him once said, Satan circulates in the human being as blood circulates in the body. Bukhari 
From this we learn that Satan will adopt every mean and mode to distract and deviate man from the true path. We can protect ourselves from the plot of Satan by getting closer to Allah and seeking his protection. We need to always remember that Satan is our open enemy who is working around the clock with the sole objective of misleading us. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. If you like our video, then please drop in a like and share the video with your friends and relatives and gain Sawabi Jariya.